All right, today is fun day. It's not Sunday, but it is fun day. We're just about to head off to London again, and we're taking the afternoon just to chill, relax, see some of sunny South Florida. And this is my lobby where I live, isn't it cute? All right, let's go. So, where do you want to go? Uh, cafe. Where do you want where do you want to go? We're going to well, since we're the, well, we can go to Sip Java. Well, we can go mm, Urban Brew. No. St. Arbucks. Yes. But you're going in the wrong direction. You know, last time she took me wanted to try a new coffee place. Oh my gosh! I took you to Starbucks afterwards. Yeah, she wanted she wanted to deviate from St. Arbucks, the no. holy coffee maker, despite whatever people want to say about the mermaid on the cup. What? She tells you that she prophylied oh. about this new coffee place. Did you hear the, oh, that's the best part. There it is. This is the place we went before. You want to go try the new place? No, 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 no. We're already on our way to Starbucks. No, no, no. So we are in perpetual carpe diem mode, which means seize the day. You ever see that movie? It was called Dead Poet Society with Robin Williams and the whole thing was carpe diem. And see, if you're not old enough to remember that, then you're just a baby. So carpe diem, remember that? Carpe diem. She doesn't remember anything. <laughs> She's got, uh, yeah, really? that what happens when you get- Excuse me? <laughs> It's carpe diem, seize the day. So you know what? You work hard, play hard, seize the day. Make the most out of every day you have because you never know if you're going to have another. That's the concept. And I want you to do that. I want you to grab a hold of this and seize the day. You know, you see me traveling around the world. You see me working and you see me joking around. But today is a carpe diem day. Seize the day, seize the day, play day. But every day should be a carpe diem day. Do what you do to the fullest, do it to the max. So we're looking to try to go see Unplanned, which is really a movie that is was fifth in the box office. By the time you see this vlog, it'll be probably on TVR, but or on DVD. But uh, it's uh, it's a blockbuster movie that some are saying is going to do for the pro-life movement what Uncle Tom's Cabin did for the uh, uh, abolitionist movement. So. Uh, we are going to try to go see that movie and support that cause. Uh, I am pro-life all the way, all the way. How about you? You'll have to hurt him, that's all. Ooh. <laughs> Who are you gonna hurt? We know. Hmm. We Does his name all start? All know. Does his name start with a Who D? Who I'm referring to. Is he in his mid-40s? One child, one wife. So we have decided to go eat because this one here is always hungry. No, you're always hungry. I am not always yes. hungry. So I don't know where we're gonna go, but it's gonna be good. So we're here at a restaurant, of which I'm not going to tell you the name, but we are here and it's Early Bird. Early Bird, because Prof Vanessa is... Um, what? You're the one who's hungry. You are hungry. Wow. My point was, there's not that many people that come during Early Bird, as you can see. So 
said, that truly was one of the worst steaks I've ever <laughs> had in my life. Seasons 52. Seasons 52, if you're in Fort Lauderdale, stay away. <laughs> Seriously, my stomach hurts. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, and she finds it funny. But this, the the view is pretty. So now on my fun day, we're going to Home Depot because. I asked Vanessa what she'd like to do with her life and how she gets happy and she says she likes going to Home Depot, so I don't know why. Thank you. Not so much fun for me, but... I don't like coming here. I don't need to come here. You need to come here. I don't need to come here. I need to go do something fun and relaxing. <laughs> 